Hey guys, Chuck P here, and I'm going to replace the motherboard on my GoPro Hero 4 Black. Purchased the motherboard from iFixit.com. I really like their website. Uh, the product seemed cheap and uh, came quickly. And uh, the reason why I'm replacing it is because the HDMI port got damaged in a wreck with my 3DR Solo. It got punched directly in and jacked up the whole port, so I'm going to have to replace the motherboard as the cheapest alternative to uh, not having to buy a new GoPro. So to get started, I'm going to make sure the battery's out. You want to make sure that the SD card is out also. Then we're going to take the faceplate off. It is a difficult task if you haven't done it before, but basically I just used my fingernails. Uh, if you have a small plastic pry tool, that would be helpful, but uh, I pretty much just use my fingernails and pop the thing off. The mode button is loose. I don't know why I left it there. It's, it's completely loose, and uh, you can pop it off with the faceplate. Now, the next step is to get out the four screws on the outside corners and you got to keep track of the lower left hand screw because it's shorter and then we'll pry out the from the HDMI side and uh, open it up being careful not to damage these two connectors which I did because I was watching a video that uh, made me think it pulled straight out it did not so that set me back a little bit but I was able to fix that with a little bit of ingenuity but it made me change my process after I got done with the whole thing so I would suggest to you that you take the LCD uh, screen out and pry it up from its double-sided tape uh, I had already done it I missed the video but you gotta be careful I was moderately careful and pried the whole thing up and still broke the LCD just a little bit but that's okay because I'm not using it for much I always use the app or use it through the drone now that connector there that came out uh, it had a toggle there and uh, it slid right out and this one uh, probably should have been pried from the other side now that uh, I've put it in and out a couple times and it pries straight up and out and that's the way I should have gone in the first place but uh, I didn't so the next step we have is to remove the image sensor and there's four screws there I had already removed one and it comes off fairly easy and it remember it is an image sensor so we don't want to touch it we want to put it in a safe place where you're not going to touch that sensor and uh, obviously you can just take good care of it. What's left is we have three more screws. One here, right above the barcode, and two more around the face right there that hold the spacer or the riser in there, whatever you want to call that. Once we get those done, you can grab that riser and gently slide it off there. The last step is taking off the data port. There's three screws that have a specific location, so keep track of where they came from. So when you reassemble, you don't mess up. And uh, be careful with the pin when you pry out. It's a little nerve-wracking again because it was my first time doing it, but it comes out fairly easy. And once you get it out, that's the last step. We'll bring in the new motherboard and reverse the process so I wanted to show you my pins on the HDMI they were blown right out of the back I thought that was pretty impressive must have got hit pretty hard you could even see the plastic was broke on that right side of it once you get it reassembled using the same steps backwards you need to reset the Wi-Fi password Almost any motherboard you buy like this is going to be used. So when I tried to connect to my GoPro app, 
I got really confused because it tried to connect to Christina something. I thought it was a next door neighbor or something, but it turns out it was the old owner's Wi-Fi password for the GoPro. So once I figured out you could reset that, it was no problem from there on out. You can also reset the entire camera, which I chose to do, so uh, it would be back to its default settings. What's left is to just update your GoPro to whichever firmware you choose. You can do that with GoPro Studio or you can do it manually and then uh, get out there and test out your machine. Please give a like to the video or subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll try to help best I can.